last vlog before Christmas, um, I have like an eye infection of some kind in my eyelid. It's like a pimple in my eyelid. So I'm like not wearing makeup because I don't want to aggravate it. So I look amazing. Um, anyway, I have how many days before Christmas? It's Tuesday and Christmas is on Sunday and family's coming Friday or Saturday. So I have this week to sort of finish up everything and it is minus 44 here where I live. It's crazy cold um, and I'm doing running around uh, to finish up my like grocery shopping. I ordered groceries for tomorrow but I forgot to put some of the things on the list and you can't change the order. So I'm waiting for groceries to come in tomorrow and today I'm picking up the few things that I either forgot to put on the list or um, just know we need. And then I'm going to um, go home and bake things that are nostalgic um, and remind me of people that I love that are no longer here and can't be here for Christmas. So I'm going to bake with them uh, in spirit and um, maybe finish wrapping presents. I have a, a bunch of stuff to do. So here's my day, guys. Spending it with you. And last day before Christmas that you'll get to see me. So. My groceries tipped over in a paper bag. So now I'm trying to like get them from inside my van. No more paper bags for my groceries. weather outside is ridiculous. It was way too cold to go and do the other things that I needed to do. So I got groceries and I came home and now I'm like warming up and deciding what to do. I'm going to write a list of all the things I have to do so I can prioritize. That's what I'm going to do right now. I have my list written. I am going to wash my sheets first because um, I have to go downstairs and then I'll set a timer for when to go switch those. I'm going to um, wrap my daughter's gifts, my kids' gifts, I guess, because they're in school right now. So that makes sense. Um, and then I am going to bake and while things are in the oven, I will write down the list of experiences that I am gifting to my kids over the year. And then, um, if I have time, then I will put them all in little envelopes and do that. So that's my, that's my list. We'll see how far I get. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Laundry's in That only took half an hour <laughs> Um, laundry downstairs in the basement is so annoying. When my kids aren't home, when they're home, that's their job. And I fold. Um, okay. Now I'm going to eat lunch, wrap gifts, bake. You guys curious what I got my kids? Um, I'm wrapping a little Harry Potter game 
because my daughter loves Harry Potter. So she got some Harry Potter pajamas and a board game. And um, she also got a Billie Eilish sweater because she loves Billie Eilish and some leggings. So they didn't get a whole bunch of, I don't buy my kids a whole bunch. They're doing, they're getting this experience, uh, one experience a month this year. So I picked a bunch of fun things around our community and around our province um, for us to do together as a family or for me to take the kids to do. Um, so they're gonna be able to open that as a surprise once a month. Um, and it's like Christmas all year. So they got a few little gifts and then they'll be opening this experience thing in January. So this light is just on and off. I apologize for the lighting. The sun is going up and down and changing the lighting. And there you have it. A perfectly wrapped gift. Okay, I'm gonna wrap my son's gift now, which is, dun 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 dun. He does boxing. And they're just like boxing shoes that he needs. See, cute Harry Potter things. I'd rather be at Hogwarts. Cute. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Gifts are wrapped. Now I'm going to bake not bake actually it's not really baking i'm gonna make two things that remind me of people that i love and that aren't here anymore to spend christmas with me so i'm going to bake in spirit with them or make the desserts that they used to make that remind me of them um, so that i can feel like they're with me so um the first thing that i'm gonna make is peanut brittle my grandma always used to make peanut brittle uh, you guys can put it in the comments if you know what peanut brittle is and if you love it. Um, but my grandma always used to give people tins of peanut brittle. And as a kid, it was like one of my favorite things ever. And then my Auntie Rita, um, she used to make donut holes. And I've never made them before, so I have no idea how this is going to go. So I have made peanut brittle before, but I'm going to try my grandma's peanut brittle um, that she has a recipe for in her cookbook that I got from her uh, when she died and um, then I'm going to try the donut holes which I don't have a recipe from my auntie for but I got one that looked sort of easy on Pinterest um, and hopefully I don't kill myself deep frying the donut holes so we'll see how this goes but first laundry I forgot about the laundry so now I gotta go switch it What do I need for the donut holes? Flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, nutmeg, don't have, keep forgetting to buy it, milk, vanilla, melted butter, and oil. Okay, let's do it. Baking sheet, cooling rack, ta-da! It's a lot of oil. I feel like that's deep enough. I'm not doing it any deeper. Maybe it'll like backfire on me, but that's a lot of oil. Okay, it's heating up. Now I'm going to get my other things. It's basically pancake mix. I feel like it's pancake mix. Two cups flour. One. Another flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. So precise. One and a half tablespoons of baking powder. One and a half vanilla. One egg. Milk. Mm. 
you know, like it's ready. Cookie scoop. Wow. That's really good. Auntie Rita, I'm making donut holes. And I'm gonna cry because I miss her so much. And she was the best baker and she was so fun. And this is why I'm making food today. It reminds me of people that I love all by myself, crying in my kitchen, hanging out with you guys. Pretty cool. They're not even that hard. I was so intimidated. I have to pause the, the making of food to go get my kids from school because it's so cold out. But look at the finished product. I'm done, hang on. Look at the finished product. They turned out pretty good. They're super tasty. So yay me, I'm really proud of myself. Brats are home. And I forgot that Jamie and Jacob have a like Christmas concert event tonight. He made donuts. I know. I was making that. I was making donuts with them. You were? They knew. Um, and then I might have to make the peanut brittle tomorrow. So I might have to pause vlog and do the it's peanut brittle tomorrow. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. home pretty late from my daughter's concert thingy and all I did was eat clean up and go to bed so I'm gonna continue my plan of action today peanut brittle time this isn't healthy by any means but it's tasty one and a half cups sugar half a cup of corn syrup two cups peanuts two tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of butter one teaspoon baking soda and one teaspoon vanilla. Put sugar, corn syrup, half a cup of water and peanuts in a two quart microwave bowl. I don't know if I'll do this in the microwave. The microwave is harder than just doing it on the stove, I think. Let's see if we can get this down without killing ourselves. Oh, it's hot, yep. Oh, this is not gonna work. I can't get it back in the microwave without tipping it. So we are abandoning the microwave and putting it in a pot. My SD card was full, so it stopped right in the middle of me cooking. But, there it is. I'm gonna make another batch of peanut brittle with pecans and cashews. So we'll see how that turns out.
I'm trying to put together a list of experiences for my kids one a month for the next year. And I have like a list of so many things. Um, and it's hard to choose. Plus some of them you have to like pay right now. And it would be like tens of thousands of dollars. Well, not tens of thousands of dollars, but thousands of dollars probably if I booked everything I wanted to book right now. So I have to like be strategic about it. Um, but I'll write a list and then I'll like show you what I come up with. I don't know, now I'm like, is it funner to like write down all the cool things and then we like pick one out of a hat every month? Is that cooler? I don't know. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Hello, Mama. Hey. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to like plan this experience gift thing. Yeah. Do you think it's funner to like actually plan, like me pick the things? Or do you think it's just like funner to like put all these things in a thing and then like we pick one out of a hat like every month or something? Oh, well, I think that a lot of it needs to be strategically done. So if it were me, I would plan it. But you relate to the kids better than I do. So I don't know. They're better at that stuff than I. Okay. Well, I'll stick with like this sort of preliminary list of things that I have. And then I'll keep the list of like the master list of things that there is to do around Alberta and if we end up changing things we can change the envelopes <laughs> okay? okay sounds good yep okay I'll see you when you get home I love you love you bye bye okay so sounds like I'm gonna stick with this preliminary list that I made it's really hard because some of this stuff is really expensive and I'm not gonna like pay for it all right now um but so far this is what I have January skiing, February is Jacob going to a play with me, March is Jamie going to a play with me, um, April is roller skating, May is baseball game, we'll see. Uh, I have to see what the schedule is like when they actually start playing the baseball games. Um, June is um, paintball for Jacob, July is Jamie plan a weekend, August is Jamie gets to plan a weekend, um, September is go to a fancy restaurant, October is Jamie and me go to a spa. November is Fitset Ninja. And December is Fantasyland Hotel, which is a cool hotel with theme rooms. So there's lots of cool things to do around Alberta. I have a master list. And so I'll keep that. Um, but it'll just be fun to have the show the kids this experience um, thing. And then them being like, ooh, what do I get to do next month? So I'm excited for that. Okay, um, it is literally almost time for me to pick my kids up and then Jamie has um, Jamie has cheerleading so I am going to end this vlog Merry Christmas you guys. I seriously love all of you. If you've watched to the end, you're my favorite <laughs> Just like I said in that first video with me and Joe if you watch to the end, you're my favorite in this one Put a Christmas emoji if you watch to the very end and that's how I know who actually loves me and I'll love you back more. Um, just kidding. I love anybody who stops and watches any videos on my channel because without you guys, I would not have a YouTube channel and it would not be successful. Anyway, Merry Christmas. I love you guys, seriously. I hope you stick around with me for years to come and watch me grow and morph as a person. Um, and ramble like I do, like I love to do. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm done. That's my vlog. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I will see you in the new year. And I'm out. Bye. Bye, guys. Snow is falling down. And the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay.
Tomorrow it is